Hi, welcome to Celerat TV with your host of Celerat, Addison Rex. So the sun is shining and all these grapes are growing and you know these vines have just erupted. So there's a ton of chores to be done in the vineyard and I thought I'd let you guys tag along and see what vineyard maintenance looks like. Okay, so we're in Deerfield Ranch's organic Syrah vineyards and there's two things that we have to do today. These shoots have been, you know, growing, growing, growing and they've just grown all over the place and they've fallen outside of the, their trellis wires here. Um, so what we have to do is just called pucky. And the system that we use here is called the double cordon system and it's one of the most commonly used trellising systems. And uh, one of the great benefits of it is it's fairly easy to do the job of trellising. It doesn't you know, require too much knowledge and uh, it's fairly easy to do without hurting the plants too much. So basically there's these two wires right here and they grow a little a little bit apart and they're a little bit apart and all we're really doing is kind of gently taking all of these shoots and just tucking them under and really the whole point of that is just so we get the canopy to grow straight up and uh, you know not all out all over the place um, because when it's all out like this, you can see you can't really drive a tractor down there to keep some of this biomass down right here and also just form a better canopy, um, you know, that exposes all of it better to the sunlight. And, uh, you know, it, it does things like promoting airflow and you can more easily manage the grapes. And it just continues to grow and continues to grow. So by the time harvest gets here, if you haven't trellis these vines, it'll be really hard to harvest the grapes. Which, which are just going to be hanging down here. So, I'm just going to come down. And you just, it, yeah, I'm doing this right now. It's about um, 7.30 and the sun's gone down over the hill and it's cool out. It's been really hot weather during the week and it'll continue to be you know, 90, 100 degree days. So, um, Ricardo, one of our vineyard managers, he's been getting up at six in the morning I like to come out here and do it a little bit later in the evening and just uh, yeah just walk down these walk down the rows and tuck them and then sometimes um, sometimes the shoots have grown up higher and you actually need to move these wires up these posts so just we do that as we go along and then the other major thing is irrigation so let's go over here So I wanted you guys to check this out. On an earlier show, I told you a little bit about inflorescence, where um, each of the vines is flowering and getting ready to make the fruit. Um, but all of the vines have now been pollinated and have entered a stage called fruit set, which is very short. But you can see right now that all of the little flowers have become pollinated and turned into little tiny grape berries. So that's pretty exciting um, because, you know, we were a little bit worried that they would get damaged. They would get damaged and not get pollinated uh, because of the late rains that were going on in uh, May. But it seems like they made it through pretty well, which is awesome. And all of them have gotten pollinated, so the clusters will still be full, which is the worry that they'd be too loose. So I want to talk a second about water. Um, all of these vines are on a drip irrigation system. Grapevines really require very, very little water. And the reason for that is we want these vines to be stressed out. You know, we want them to like, we want them to have gray hair. They're so stressed out. And we don't, we don't want like grapevines that are just 
drinking and drinking and drinking because that'll make the berries all watery, you know, huge plump berries like you'll find at the table, on the table that, you know, just the table grapes. But we're trying to make very potent, flavorful wine grapes. So you want these plants to have to work really, really hard. So you want them to have enough water to grow healthily, but you don't want them to grow too vigorously. You're trying to limit vigor because grapevine Vitis vinifera is actually a very vigorous plant. So all of these are on a drip irrigation system. Um, and we're trying to get about a half gallon an hour coming out of here. But drip irrigation systems, for anyone who's, you know, worked with them in their home garden, know that they're just really difficult to manage. So they haven't, they don't need to be watered through the winter, so a big, huge job out in the vineyard is to walk each of these rows and make sure that, you know, every, every single dripper is right on the plant, because right, right now it's watering over here. It's not even watering the plant, and you can see it's all loose. So, and it's, it, because it's one, because it's one row of, of, you know, drippers for the entire row of grapes, you have to make sure that it's at, at every in interval correctly. So it's a really big job and, you know, it's just a kind of a nightmare really to go and do it. And no one really likes doing this irrigation and these, uh, these things which are called emitters, they fill up with minerals over the years. And so a lot of them don't even work correctly, so you have to replace them. So that's something that we've been doing is just walking every single row, replacing the emitters, making sure that they're hanging in the right places. And, uh, you know, I think it's almost worse when they're dripping too much. I'd rather see them dripping not enough than just, you know, a jet. Like, look over here. Like this guy right here, it's just gushing out. And I mean, it's it's not even on the plant. This whole row needs to be pulled back all the way. Ugh. There. That's a little. <laughs> that's that's a little better. So you get a little bit of idea what what the watering is all about. I mean, the whole thing is just walk. They they don't really even need too much water right now. It's really for later in the summer when it's getting hot, because. Uh, you know, these grapevines roots go down so deep and it's been raining fairly recently. So even though right now it's not so much of a problem, in a couple weeks we'll need it to be ready. So this is a lot of just preparation work for the drier season. Down like, you know, three or four feet down, we're, we're right next to a marsh. So this is all wetland right here. So the water table is still really high and I know that the ground is really moist. So a lot of this work is really just for the coming months. So this is a finished row. All of the shoots have been all tucked up. You know, all the irrigation's been all proper. So these grapes are ready to go, all ready to grow, you know. And during this time of the year, there's really not too much to do. Just, you know, keeping vigil and constantly making sure that everything is going perfectly and happily, you know, making sure there's no mildew or any kind of pests like that. But I hope you guys learned a little bit something about vineyard maintenance today, and we'll see you next week on Cellarat TV.